Let's do an example of how this matrix for a coordinate transformation works with respect to a not trivial linear transformation between two finite dimensional vector spaces. So let's say that V is the set of linear functions in X and as we've mentioned a few times to make it actually a vector space you have to have everything lower degree as well so not just linear functions but you have to have constants as well including zero and then when we go up to quadratic functions we have to include all the linear functions and all the constants so i'm just going to say union v there so a linear transformation from v to w is we take the function f of x and just multiply it by x minus 2. Now, certainly, there will be things in W that aren't in the, the range of this function. That's perfectly fine. This still maps things that are degree 1 or less to things that are degree 2 or less. It is that fine. And <clears throat> you should go through and verify that this actually is a linear transformation but it is. So to make this work, we have to have bases for both of our vector spaces. And so I'm just going to say my basis for B1, or basis for V, is beta 1, is 2x minus 5 and x plus 2. My basis for W is x squared minus 1, x squared plus x, and 1. So to figure out what the matrix is that takes these things from v to w in terms of the coordinate vectors i need to see what is t of 2x minus 5. well t of 2x minus 5 that's x minus 2 times 2x minus 5 would give me a 2x squared minus 5x minus 4x plus 10 so 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. Now we're going to have to do it for the other basis vector too. But let's go ahead and just start with this one. So how is this thing coordinatized with respect to this basis? Well, I picked this basis so it wasn't trivial to figure out, but it also wasn't too hard. The first thing to notice is that in these functions here, the only x comes about from this middle term. So that means we have to have a negative 9 times x squared plus x. It's the only way we're going to get a negative 9x out of it. Well, that means that so far we've got a negative 9x squared, and we need a 2x squared. The only other x squared, other than that middle term, is this first one. So I've got to have 11 times x squared minus 1. So that the 11x squared minus 9x squared gives me the 2x squared. Last thing is how do I deal with the 1? So far, similarly, I've got negative 11 and I need plus 10. So I need plus 21 times 1. Making the coordinate vector for this thing the coordinate vector for 2x squared minus 9x plus 10 with respect to beta 2 is the vector 11, negative 9, 21. Okay, well let's just repeat that process for the other basis vector. The other basis vector for V was x plus 2. So I need to figure out what is t of x plus 2. That's going to be x minus 2 times x plus 2 is x squared minus 4. And we can go through the similar kind of process. There is no x thing, so that must mean I have 0 of the middle term. Since I've got 0 of the middle term and I've got an x squared, that must mean I have 1 of the first thing.
and so far I've got a negative 1 but I need a negative 4 so I need negative 3 times 1. So I've got my coordinate vector 4 x squared minus 4 with respect to beta 2 is 1 0 negative 3. Then the whole point of this is, is that my matrix that takes coordinate vectors for V into coordinate vectors for W that match this linear transformation is slapping these two things as the columns of a matrix. My matrix M is the matrix 11, negative 9, 21, 1, 0, negative 3. So if I were to take that matrix M times some two-dimensional vector, let's say 1, 3, certainly we can calculate that thing out. We get 11 plus 3 gives me a 14, negative 9 plus 0, 21 minus 9, get that. What this says then, in terms of the original transformation, this is saying that the linear transformation of 1, 3 was the coordinate vector, so it was 1 times the first basis element, plus 3 times the second basis element, is, this is the coordinate vector for what the transformation becomes. 14 times x squared minus 1, minus 9 times x squared plus x, plus 12 times uh, 1. And so you should be able to go ahead and just multiply that out and make sure that that actually works. Now again, remember we're doing a linear transformation of this, so this doesn't equal this. x minus 2 times this should equal this. And I'll leave that for you to check.